What's up guys and gals? Welcome back. Spur here. We're back at it with more Into the Flames. We're jumping back into the Flames or Station 2. We've got a fire going already. We're revisiting the one that we looked at the other day, the 25 Cle Cleveland Street. We got called to that one, but it was a false alarm. I wanted to see a fire there. Like, I really wanted to see a fire there, so I respawned it, and we have an actual fire going, so we're going to be able to uh, take care of that one. Let's go ahead and hop in engine, uh, engine 1 here. Engine style one. We're at station two, but I call it engine style one because that's just the type the model style that it is. All right, let's hit H, hit uh, L for the lights, and we'll get out of here as soon as I figure out which way we need to go. Okay, back to the right. We're going to take the tiller ladder too. We haven't taken the tiller out in a long time. So it's going to be tiller time. Oh, uh, yeah, we got to go back to the right and then i think back to the left correct maybe yeah okay we're good with that to the oh man that curve is really <laughs> it's a stout curve you can't go up on it nice no siren today we're doing it silent mode uh really this is different what wow did you see that it just what this isn't 25 cleveland avenue uh, that's totally not. And did you see it flash? Like, when we rolled up, like, it really took off then. What is this? What fire is this? It is 25 Cleveland Avenue. What is the fire we did the other day then? Because something is not right. We went to that big business, you know, the one that uh, had the upstairs and all the stuff. Like, the big connected business. And uh, this is most definitely not it. Though it's a cool fire, we'll go with it. I'll absolutely go with this. All right, let's... Uh, Let's hop out. Yeah, this is totally not what I was expecting. I must have my wires crossed. You guys, I have to bear with me. I'm still not 100% after uh, being sick all the other week, so. Uh, either way, we've got us a good fire. We got some fires here. It's a bonus fire. It's totally not what I was thinking it was going to be. Let's do front intake. Get this guy going over here. Come on. Connect up. I know you want to. There we go. And we'll get some water. Uh, let's see tools hydrant wrench we'll do that yeah I, this is totally not the building i was expecting that's really weird so was 25 cleveland street the other day something completely different or it's cleveland avenue maybe i'm thinking of something uh totally different maybe i am all right um let's go ahead and get our air and uh we'll do the thing we'll do a search do the thing in here uh forcible entry we got you if we can go inside and check this out man that was so cool how it took off when we rolled up so we got several uh, doors blocked right that figures this one's doing uh it's unlocked nice all right it's a nighttime fire too you know what i think we're going to pause the time on nights and we're going to go with this let's do that we go to uh the host options by hitting uh i think it's escape right like i hit the button and i don't even think about it return the game what is it yeah it's escape Escape. All right. Whoa. It just ignited down here too. Man. Okay. Uh, it's definitely spreading around. That's for sure. Is it because we opened that door up? But man, it's rolling good in there, right? That is cool. That is really cool. We need a hook. We, we need a hook uh, before we can make entry to this other building here. Let's check this one right here. I don't want to get a hook because that's more of a ladder thing. So, Got anyone in here? I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll check it out. Looks to be vacant. All right, let's go upstairs and see. Yeah, it's raging really good upstairs. Man, okay. Uh, Yeah, we got smoke inhalation now. Let's do that before we kill ourselves. Should have put our mask on. All right, uh, let's get a ladder here. Let's get the Tilla. We'll bring him... We'll open that up real quick, and we'll drop this guy right here. All right, let's jump on Attila. The exit. Did we take the call? Yeah, we. No, we didn't. Okay, let's take it real fast, and let's establish command while we're at it. Uh, let's grab the tiller now. Do some Tilla, some Tilla time. All right, let's hit H, hit, uh, L for the lights. Oh, this thing is going to be a pain in town. Man, this thing is going to be a pain. 
tell you that right now. Let's see. It's been so long since I've driven it. Okay, yeah, you use the mouse. What is going on with that? Why are you doing that? Did I hit something? I don't know. Let's do, uh, there we go. <laughs> we gonna need this bad in here. And I can't see either. This is a disaster. Man, yeah, you definitely got to uh, utilize the rear end steering on this thing. Um, man, the car's in the way too. You need to go. Get out of my way. We're totally not going to be able to do that. <laughs> We're totally not going to be able to do that turn there. Alright, let's try it this way. Oh, I can't see because the, the building keeps clip, clipping my view, right? Like, I can't see. Oh, this is a disaster. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I think we got it. Let's put this guy right here. Let's put him right here. Man, that is tough on this map. Like, you have to be Johnny on the spot with the tiller ladder. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get him set up. Let's do outriggers. And I think we're going to hold tight with that for the moment. And let's see. Let's bring another ladder. What else we got on the map we could bring? Let's go stations. Uh, three has a squad. Uh, 4A has the tower ladder and a tanker. B has two engines. 5 is rescue 2. And 1 is ladder 1. That is exactly what I want to bring. Ladder 1. Let's bring him. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and hit F to get the door open. And uh, H and L, of course. And which way do we need to take this bad boy? These streets. These city streets are rough. I'm telling you. Kind of true to life, though, really. I mean, if you think about it. Okay, right, let's go ahead. And I'm going to guess going back around this way, maybe. I hope so. I hope I'm guessing right or we're going to be driving all over town for nothing. There we go. Going the right way. Uh, whoa, we're going to go by it. Nope. Back up. Back it up, Spur. Who's getting ahead of himself? Yeah, right, let's kill that. Don't no one have time for all that mess. And I kind of wish I swung the block now so we could uh, come in behind the engine on the front. We actually need to do that. So never mind. I should have gone that way. Go back this way. Look at the uh, graffiti on the wall there. That's pretty cool. By far my favorite map. I, it really just is. It really just is. I love this map. Uh, back around to the left. And this should be a good spot for us right here. Alright. Yes. Let's uh, actually... Uh, I don't know how I want to place this thing. We'll just do it right here. Okay. Get them set up. The outriggers and... Um, I think we're just going to go with this for the moment as well, too. Yeah, I think so. We'll, uh, we'll take the tiller ladder. We'll put him to the roof of this one over here. On the back. And, uh, we'll bring another engine for some more water. And I think that's all we're going to do. this guy set up over here we'll get roof access though I don't really think we need it I don't think it's necessary like it's going pretty good but we'll have it just in case right okay right, let's get this guy out here let's go to that view that way we can see a little better what we're doing yeah we got some fires through the roof up here got some fires through the roof let's get him positioned like that all right let's go back to the ground nice Okay, so we're good on that. Uh, let's get one more engine. Let's see what our hydrant situation looks like over here. Got the one on the corner we're tied into, and I think that's going to be it, right? Like I don't see any other. Uh, I don't see any other hydrants to the map. Uh, yeah, we've got one down the street a little ways too by the gas station. We could grab it too. All right, let's go back to station one. And we'll grab that engine. We'll roll him over here. Ooh, I don't know what that was about. 
Yeah, let's get all the things going. So uh, anyway, people have been asking really, really quick. I'll probably do a whole video about this on its own at some point, maybe in the next few days. But uh, people have been asking about Emerging YC when you want to play that, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Honestly, probably after the first of the year, we might jump into it some. Uh, I don't like, you know, I've, I've just I've done so much of that. I did so much. It's actually 167 episodes. If you haven't caught that playlist, it's 167 Emerging YC episodes. Uh, and it's just time for something a little different. So we're not going to be doing it as much. We'll do it from time to time. But we did it really hardcore for about a year and a half. And uh, I really, I just think it's time to kind of do some different things, you know. So we're not done with it. We're by no means totally done with it, but um, we're gonna be doing some other things too. So uh, that's basically what's going on with that. So uh, let's see, let's do intake. Uh, we don't have an intake on the side. Never mind. We got it on the front, not on the side. Front intake. There we go. Get this guy hooked up. And we'll get our hydrant wrench. Oh, we already got an air pack. Never mind. There we go. All right, hydrant wrench. Let's get this guy going. All right, we got some water. Let's go back to the pump panel. We'll get our water going. Pump panel. I don't know what we're going to do with this guy exactly, but we'll have him here in case. We'll have them here in case we need it. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to our uh, incident overview, and we're going to upgrade this to probably. Let's see, it's three structures. We'll do a third. We'll do a third alarm on it. Uh, come on, a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's run down here and. I think what we're going to do is, uh, well, of course, we're going to start attacking it. We're going to start hitting this, but I think what we're going to do is put a few guys on the ground for uh, fire suppression. What we might do is put them over here on this wall right here to uh, protect this exposure just in case. Like, we don't have to worry about it too much. There's a gap, but uh, we'll put some guys down here. What would be really cool, what I would love for AI of firefighters in this game i think this would be a cool feature to have okay so what you can do currently right is you can go in we've got six available ai units that we could drop down so of course we're going to do rit right we're always going to do rit and uh we'll do a primary search too so that's two so we got four left now let's do some fire suppression we're going to put these guys on the corner Right, and he didn't work. That might be bugged on this map. That may not be working because every time I've dropped uh, fire suppression, it hasn't worked, right? Yeah, it's just not doing this. You know what? Scratch all that then. Never mind. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't think about it. Just disregard all that because uh, I don't think it's working on this map right now or something is uh, most definitely going on. But what I was going to say is, okay, you drop your fire suppression down right here. Let's say they're actually doing their thing. And they're going to start spraying the fire directly, right? They're going to start putting the water on the fire. Um, what I think would be cool is like, you really have no control over what they put water on. They just randomly pick fire to put water on. So they'll pick fire somewhere in here. It may be further down. It may be here on the corner. What I would love to see with AI fire suppression is the ability to kind of control a little bit more as far as where they're putting water. So if I want them to put water on his window right here, he would do it. Or if I wanted him to put water on the wall right here, he could do a water curtain there, or maybe even on this wall over here, you know? So in other words, uh, they could uh, either go for uh, the closest or the fire that they pick uh, themselves, you know, like they kind of do now, or you could tell them specifically where you want them to, uh, to uh, put the water. I think that would be really cool, but uh, either way, they're not working on this map. Like I said, this map is still being developed Spur has been playing it, but it's still being developed. Um, so you guys will see it at some point. I can't tell you when, but uh, either way, it's a really cool map. So like I said, if you see some issues or some bugs that I run across in game, don't sweat it. He'll get around to it and fix it, you know. Um, so yeah, we'll just, I guess we'll do this on our own. Uh, we've got, yeah, it's spread downstairs too. It's really going. So we need a hook real quick. Before we do this 
Get a hook and let's grab Alligan right here if we can. That's not going to let me. Alright, let's try it this way then. Tools, forcible entry. Now we got it. So this door, I think, was blocked, right? Try it and see. Alright, and it's locked. Here we go. Let's get some light going too. All right, so we've got that one open up. We've got this one open. Uh, I think we're good with all this. Let's drop this stuff right here. And now we need a hand line. And we need to get this pump going too. Let's do a tank fill. Open them up all the way. We've got plenty of water. Water is not an issue for us. Do discharge one. Uh, no, actually, we need to back up. Go to connections, discharge one, combination, we're good with that. Now we'll go back to our pump panel and discharge one and we'll crack this guy open to 140. That looks good there. Um, I think what we're going to do is hit up this, uh, this middle house right here so it won't spread across to the uh, first floor of the other one. Man, it's like every time I really kind of want some uh, AI fire suppression, <laughs> it's not available. I keep forgetting that. Oh, man. Got to do it ourselves. You want something done right, you do it yourselves, right? Like you have to do it yourself. There we go. Yeah, it would be cool to put AI fire suppression down and be like, you know what? You guys work on the first floor of this house right here. Uh, you guys work on the second floor of the adjoining, you know, like have a little bit more control over uh, what you want them to do. You know, I, I think that would be really sharp. I think it'd be really sharp and really handy. You'd have a little bit more uh, utility with them as far as like how to utilize them, that kind of stuff. But Maybe one of these days. You never know. You never know, right? Like, uh, they're constantly doing stuff for this game, and that's why I play it so much here lately is because there's so much new content uh, coming out for the game, right? Like, uh, any game you play is eventually going to get stale. Like, you're eventually going to hit the ceiling as far as, like, what you can do with that game, and it's going to get stale, right? And luckily, we we live in a time where, like, uh, games are constantly... Uh, having content added and things improved and bug fixes, you know, fixes and all that kind of stuff. You know, it goes back to what I said uh, in a previous video a long time ago. You know, Spur remembers a time where you went to the store. You couldn't get games online. You had to go to a store and buy them, right? I know some of you guys remember these days too. But you go to the store and you'd buy a game and you got what you got. You didn't get any, like, that was it. What came in the box is what you had. If it was a buggy mess and didn't do anything, then uh, then you just had a buggy mess. Like, oh, this is a block too. What the heck? Um, if you if you had a good game, then you had a good game, and then you just played it until there was nothing else left to do. You know, you played it until uh, you did all the things, and then you were done with it. And then the game would go on my shelf for a year or two, and uh, then I would come back to it and do something else. Right, like. Uh, until you kind of forgot about it a little bit, but um, you know, we're lucky now we live in a time where like you can get your games online, you can pretty much get them instant. I remember having to go to the mall to get a game and that sucked because I didn't have a mall anywhere near when I, where I live. So you'd have to drive an hour or two to go to the mall to, to go to the PC game store to get a game and, uh, and, and play it. But, uh, now, you know, we have pretty much instant gratification. You can get the game online, you can patch it online, you can get new content for the game online. Like, it's really, it's a crazy time that we live in as far as gaming. I mean, it's awesome. It really just is. So, um, my whole point is that they're, they're constantly supporting and adding to this game, and I really like that. I really, I really do like that. Uh, it gives me more stuff to do. Right. Otherwise, it's eventually going to get stale, and that's just that's just how it is. That's just what happens, right? All right. Let's see. Um, I think we got these two knocked out. Yeah, we're good on these. And how are we doing on air? We will need some more air, so let's go over here. We we'll drop this guy right here, and let's see. Let's go. 
Oh, we already got it. All right, it automatically refills your air as soon as you do that. Let's grab this stuff back up and go inside real fast. I want to pop these doors open that were upstairs that we saw. There we go. Because these two right here. Yep. All right. Let's see. It's blocked. So what we need to do is swap to the hook and pull. And it's still locked or something. So we need to force it open. Looks like this door goes to the adjoining. No, it's just a closet. That's what I was wondering. I wanted to see that because I was like, does that go to the adjoining building or is this uh, something different? So it turns out it's just to a closet. There we go. All right, we got this one. All right, so we're, uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. Yeah, these buildings are okay. We got them knocked out and we'll go downstairs. Oops, I fell through the floor. There's like a kind of a buggy area right here on the floor. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out. There we go. Yeah, there's a little spot here in the floor where you, you kind of, I, I don't know. I guess you kind of clip through it or something, but can't really notice it at nighttime. All right, so we've got this fire here. Let's go ahead and we may start this one as an exterior attack. Get this bay window knocked out here. Hope we're gonna be able to get the other side. There you go, sweet, all right. Good fire, man, it's raging in there really good, right? We didn't even do a 360. I mean, we kind of did, but we didn't. Go back here. Ah, oh, this one is blocked too, man. These houses, I'm telling you, they're like death traps. All right, let's swap back. Now that's open, okay. Yeah, it would be cool to put AI suppression back here and like just have them spraying on the wall or something or hitting that window. Like I said, right now when you put them down, they, they could hit it. They could do something completely different like you don't know. Oh man, our, our other fire is going over there too. Nice. All right, let's drop this right here. Swap and drop you. Swap and drop. All right. Start hitting his window. There we go. Nice, nice, we're getting it, we're getting it. We're gonna work our way up there. Let's hit these windows up here. Yeah, I remember I used to love going to the PC game store. I remember, uh, you know, when Walmart sold all kinds of PC games, like they had a whole big aisle dedicated to PC games. You know, like uh, they don't, hard, do they sell anything now PC game related? Maybe a tiny, tiny little section of the cheapo games, you know, but like uh, they don't really, they don't do that anymore. Like that's not a thing. It's not really necessary because you get everything online, but I totally remember. I remember going to the mall in uh, Columbus, Georgia and getting PC games there. They had a shop there in the mall I used to get to. I remember getting an F-117A Stealth Fighter. I got that game uh, in the very early 90s. And that's like uh, when F-117, I don't, it wasn't called that though. It was F-119 or what was that game called? I can't remember now. I haven't got, got to think on it. Uh, but either way, it was based on the F-117 and um, that plane was all the hype, right? Like it had just, it, it had been, you know, announced a few years prior. People had speculated about it for a long, long time. And then uh, when Desert Storm had, it, you know, had happened, we uh, had the ability to sit at home and watch these planes drop laser guided bombs through vents and windows, you know, during the war on CNN every night, which was just crazy to be able to do that. So. I saw that game at the uh, PC uh, store in Columbus and one of the scenarios was Desert Storm that you could do. In fact, I think I did a video on that game a long, long time ago. I played it. I did a little playthrough, but uh, I was so stoked about getting that game and uh, went to the PC store in Columbus. It was during Christmas and they had it. 
and uh, I got the game. I was so freaking excited to have that game. I wanted to play it so bad. Get home, put it on my PC. It was, uh, it wasn't the IBM, maybe it was the IBM PC XT that I had at that time. Gosh, you're talking about years ago. Anyway, I, I installed the game and it wouldn't play. It wouldn't do crap. Like, it, <laughs> nothing. I was crushed. I was so upset and crushed that that game wouldn't play on my PC. Spent all that money on that game and it wouldn't it wouldn't play at all. Like wouldn't even start up. And I was like, man, what? Seriously, and wasn't no taking it back. It wasn't there what like I think they've gotten a lot more lax on that nowadays than they did back then, but uh Eventually, I was able to play the game. I wound up getting a new IBM computer and uh, was able to uh, to play the game and enjoy it. But I remember I had that game for a while before I would ever even be able to play it. Like, I just wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't do it. All right, let's see. Let's swap to the hook. There we go. Let's get this door open. That's to the closet. And we got to force this one. Oh, I remember being so crushed on that though. Not being able to play that game. Uh, it was so bad <laughs> to see it. To see it at the store and be so freaking excited to finally have that game and then load it up and it wouldn't do anything. I was like, man, doggone it. Oh, I went in the hole again. All these houses have that same hole over there. I think we got the fire out, guys. I think that's like totally it. We just need to vent. We need to put the fans out. Let's see, let's swap to the Halligan. We'll drop him down to, there we go, or the hook, or whatever it is. All right, let's get our fan. Get our fans and we'll call it a day. Yeah, I think I'll do a video about a murder and just some other stuff. I've been wanting to do some more talking head videos for you guys anyway, just to, uh, to shoot the breeze with you and kind of go over some things. It wouldn't be long, it'd just be a few minutes or something like that. But. All right, let's put this guy, let's put this bad boy right here. Put him in front of door number one. And let's go back to uh, another fan. And, oh, it's under control. Never mind. I was going to put one in front of door number two, but it got all of them. Uh, 25 Cleveland Street. Uh, yeah, this is not what I was thinking. I am completely mixed up. I'm going to have to go back and watch that last uh, Into the Flames video because this is not what I thought it would be. I've got my addresses mixed up, but uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. We are coming up on 5,000 subs. I can't believe it. I really appreciate all you guys and gals that have uh, supported the channel and uh, helped out. It's been a blast. I'm looking forward to hitting 5,000. I really hope that... Uh, we hit 5k by the first year is, is kind of an important date to me because of my last milestone, but I don't know, being sick, being sick for that week kind of hurt that, so we may not hit that by the first year, but it'll be somewhere close to or around it. Anyway, I love all you guys, and we'll catch you in the heights next time. Peace!